Hi, y'all. She was seven. I'm back. Okay, so the last few days, I've been like back and forth on Facebook on this post. Okay, so some guy posted a picture of um, a woman who's like in a high up position, um, educated, tipping a stripper. And not just any stripper, a famous stripper, okay? Drake's ex-girlfriend. Let's just put it out there. Okay, her name is uh, Malia Michaels or something like that. And, yes, yeah, so this lady is tipping her. She is the president of the NAACP, okay? She's an attractive younger woman, and she's at a party. She's having fun. She's out. And it's, there's a picture of her tipping this, um, this young lady. And the lady has on all her clothes. She just has on like lingerie. So um, there's this big uproar. Um, and all these guys are like, she shouldn't be tipping for strippers. She's supposed to be upholding a certain standard and blah, 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 blah. This is, this is an example of the type of women we have to deal with. They're smart. They're educated. But they're still like hoes or they're still... Um, ratchet or they're still this and this and that okay they're basically they're putting down this lady for tipping a stripper and getting caught on camera first of all who cares what some grown woman is doing okay that is her life she's not at work she's not representing you know her position at that time she's at a party she's on her personal time okay and i know when you become the face of an organization you have to watch your step but this lady is like, you know what? I'm going to cut back. I'm going to have fun. I'm a grown woman. I can do what I want to do. Men do it all the time. Okay. Men do it all the time. So basically, um, I basically went into the comments and took up for both of those ladies. I'm like, all I see is another lady tipping another lady, another female, um, you know, helping out another female. I see someone having fun. I see a grown woman doing her thing. I don't think she needs your permission or your approval. And so people just started like, you know, they started at me, well, this is what's wrong with today's society. Women like you, women like that. I was like, oh, you mean women that are winning? Okay. You mean women that have what they want in life? You know, women that don't care what you think about them. Women who are going to do what they are going to do regardless of what you think. You mean those kind of women? <laughs> yes, we are winning. Um... So the guy keeps going on. And there's women in here too, y'all. These women are like so brainwashed. They're in here too, y'all. The women are in here too bashing these two ladies. I'm like, first of all, probably you don't look better than any of them. And you're upset about that. Second, you know, it's, it's pretty sad that another woman would down another woman who's just trying to enjoy herself, make money. Um, be, she's at a party, you know. So I don't understand the whole judging of women who are grown and, and are living their life. Are you going to step in and take that stripper out of her, um, her lifestyle and give her a better one? Are you going to take care of her? Are you going to tell her she doesn't have to work anymore? Are you going to take care of her if she has kids? Are you going to take care of her mortgage? Are you going to take care of her car payment? Are you going to do all of that? Or are you just going to sit there and judge her for being a stripper? Are you going to sit there and judge the other lady for giving the stripper a few dollars because she's at a party and she's enjoying herself? She got educated. She got all the way up to the presidency of the NAACP. I mean, what more do you want of her? What more do you want of her? She's not running for president of the United States. <laughs> um, men are men fear this because they can't see themselves. They can't see themselves being allowed or able to do such things as women do. They can't understand this. Like that stripper that's in the picture, she's, she's got money. She, um, she's like a famous dancer. She's an attractor. She, I mean, she's an attractor to different clubs. She flies from this club to this city to this city, and they pay her a lot of money. Um, I think James Harding, the basketball player, paid her like $150,000 just to go on one date with, with him. Okay, this lady makes a lot of money. She's all on Instagram. She's like she's modeling she started her own line of products makeup you know uh bath products so she's turning her stripper money into a lucrative you know business that's going to build her wealth in the future 
and no man is stepping in to do that, um, you know, except those that contribute to her uh, profession. I mean, she's got her own house. She's got a very nice car. She's drive. I think she drives my dream car, actually, y'all. But anyway, so these broke men is on this and this and these women who are hating are on this post telling how you know this is not right judging um talking and blah 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 blah. i said well why are y'all sitting here talking on facebook judging this lady she's probably made more money than y'all has more recognition than all of y'all on this post the stripper and the one who's tipping her and they told me that i need to stay um doing card readings instead of butting into um matters of the community and I was like, you're right, I'm going to go read cards for these ladies who come to me daily and say, you know, I was a good girl, I was wholesome, I was good, I did everything that uh, men, I think thought men would want, and I got dogged out anyway, I was left with nothing, now I'm practically homeless, I got a kid, now what do I do? Well, you shouldn't have given it up so easy, you should have only aimed for men with money, you should have only done anything if it was beneficial to you okay and you know I say in the in the guys who marry these really nice wholesome women they end up going to the strip club looking for whores or treating not whores but <laughs> whore whore like women stripper like women because that's what they were calling her a whore and and uh, they were calling the other lady one too so you know these are the type of women that men really want but they're mad that they're winning they're mad that they can't treat them any kind of way they're mad that they're getting more respect than the man these days so the thing is I had I made a video a while back called smart hoes or whatever it was a VR video response to some dude that made some videos talking talking about how educated women who have degrees and good jobs and are financially stable are still you know have a hoe mentality and da 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 well, you know what? In this world, the way men treat women, they have to. They have to get something out of it in order for a man to be worth your time. You know, for me, I I don't I would, I would never entertain someone that I could not benefit from. Why? Because that's a waste of my time. I could be benefiting myself. Okay, if I'm with someone, I'm wasting time if I'm not benefiting. If I'm not moving forward in life, if I'm not gaining anything, if I'm not gaining anything I'm wasting my time okay if I was alone I could be working I could be uh, you know reading cards what I do I could be making videos I could be putting on makeup making makeup videos I could be shopping I know that's not really beneficial but it's beneficial to my spirit okay I could be doing other things I don't have to be sitting up here entertaining some guy some random guy just because he looks good I don't care how he looks okay can he benefit me Okay, I can go and look at gay men all day. They look way better than straight men. I can go and look at them all day if I want to see some pretty looking men. If I want to see some handsome perfection of men. I can go look at that all day. But they're not going to pay my bills. Okay, so this is how I view men. You know, if I, if I got caught up in looks in men, I would be doomed. I would be doomed. Because looks don't pay rent. Looks don't help you. Looks do not secure your financial future no they don't so I don't care I'm not doing anything for anyone who is not my family members or my children especially a man okay when I was single I would not even waste my time if you're not gonna help me benefit me do anything for me that I can't do for myself then I, why am I wasting my time with you oh to get to know you as a person to get I don't need to know you if you're not gonna be able to do nothing for me okay and that's just my mentality because I've seen too many women who men got to know and then after they got to know them guess what bye bye and the woman is left with nothing okay now I have worked many funerals and I have seen many things okay I have seen men who have drugged these women along, women along, never married them, got five, six kids, died, left the funeral expenses to them, and left them penniless, homeless, nothing, okay? Y'all don't want to be one of those kind of women. Please don't. Um, always go for someone who can benefit you. I don't care if someone calls you a gold digger, a whore, or whatever. They're just mad because they can't do it, okay? This is why 
they're angry because they don't have I'm sorry y'all this I have a, 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 a hair my lash they don't have the ability to do what you do so they're upset they're they don't think it's fair you play the cards you're given if you can get this type of relationship go get it okay there are women out there who can't get it who wish they could there are women out there who are uh, you know boss ladies earning millions of dollars um, and they're doing their thing and they can have any men they want okay you don't have to settle now I'm not making this just for gold diggers or or strippers or whores or anything or, or women that just want to live a nice decent life as a housewife or something I'm making this video for all women like all women if you want to do something go do it and don't be ashamed to do it if you want to be the president of the United States go do it if you want to be you know Susie homemaker go do it if you want to be a stripper and that's just your dream you like pole dancing you like the art of stripping you like the dance you like showing off your body you love attention you're on Instagram anyway be half thing. go do what you want to do don't let men tell you who you are don't let them tell you who you are because women actually lead the way men will follow behind women why because they want sex more than women do and they will do whatever it takes to get next to the woman they will change their style of dress. They will change their hairstyle. If they see women liking this hairstyle, they're going to go get it. If they see men, women like this, like skinny jeans, they're going to go try to find some skinny jeans. If they see women who like beards, they're going to try to grow a beard. Why? Because they want to attract us, okay? And this, the women do the same thing. They see men who like this feature, and so they enhance it. We do this to each other, but we are the ones that are supposed to be chased. So they're always going to come after us no matter what so just stick to what you want to do don't let them try to convince you to do other things because they feel like you're supposed to be doing something if they have any opinion about your life hand them some of your bills like here you go here you go here you go here you go now you may voice your opinion and I will listen okay don't let people tell you what to do, who you are, and what you're supposed to be doing and what you're not supposed to be doing. If you are over 18 and you are a grown woman or a grown man, then don't let them get to you, okay? Always be true to yourself and what makes you happy. Because if you live life trying to please everyone else, you will always be miserable, okay? Um, know exactly what you want when you go after it and don't let people tell you that it's wrong it's wrong for them but it's it's good for you if that's what you truly want in life okay now if you're like you know doing negative things and harming yourself and harming other people and someone tries to intervene yes of course you should listen and consider what they're saying because you know you're causing harm but if you're not hurting anybody go do your thing okay i'll see y'all later thank y'all so much for watching if y'all like this look i got on y'all want to look like barbie too hold on one second. i got my kids doll y'all yeah. if y'all want to look like a barbie too Go to my beauty channel and I'll link it below. I have this look that I did so y'all can get it too, okay? Thank y'all so much for watching.